Good afternoon and welcome to WRMG TV 12 and TV 97's coverage of Red Band Bell Green Fast Pitch Softball. We're live in Bell Green Franklin County Tournament Finals. Both these teams are in the finals. Uh, one problem, Red Bay's got one loss. Bell Green is undefeated, so Red Bay, my understanding, would have to beat Bell Green twice to be the champion. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Randall, when you got connections in high places, they'll fix you a Keurig cup of coffee, put it in your little mug, and, uh, and bring it to you. And uh, we appreciate the awesome folks here in Bell Green, Alabama. What a great concession stand. The hamburgers, the barbecues, the barbecue nachos, you name it, it is good. And it's always uh, good to be able to broadcast these games here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Got wonderful sponsors, of course, making the game possible here today. Uh, the wind has died down a little bit, but that temperature has dropped a bunch in a hurry. So I'm glad I went and got my jacket. Randall got his jacket. Bill went and got his jacket. And Several other folks around have got their jackets as well. So if you're out there, get ready for Red Bay and Bell Green. Red, Bell Green has already beat Red Bay today once. That put Red Bay in the um, that put Red Bay in the uh, bracket in the losers bracket. But Red Bay was able to knock off the ball club from uh, Tharptown to get in the uh, finals. But keep in mind, we've got one loss, and Bell Green has zero losses. Stay tuned. The start of the Red Bay Tigers and the Bell Green Bulldogs is coming up next on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Stay with us here on your hometown station. Red Bay Tigers will bat first with McKenna Young. And there's the pitch. Morgan Vandiver, Randall, these uh, are these the where's the positions at uh, Vandiver, the pitcher, all right. Morgan Vandiver is a pitcher, and Hannah Borden is on the mound. Pitch. I was trying to figure out Randall, Randall's riding over here and stuff. So, yeah, I've I've got her now. There, thanks. Hannah Borden on the mound pitching, and there is the pitch, and it is strike three. Beautiful pitch there by Hannah Borden. Charlie Lawson is there behind the plate. Lily Blackburn is, of course, down at first base. Uh, Caitlin Oliver is uh, out in left field. McKinley Hogan out in right field today. Shailene Bright is at uh, the DP today playing third. Uh, Brooke Tompkins is at first base. And the flex player today is Morgan Lauderdale. There's a ground ball to the second baseman. Throw over to first in time for the out, second out of the inning. Randall, would you, what would you do if I told you the first base player down there? Number 21, Brooke Tompkins. You know who that is? Ruth Ginn's granddaughter. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just met uh, Ruth's daughter here. I've known that family for about a hundred years. You ready to go, Randall? And the pitch on the way with two outs. This is the Red Bay Tigers center fielder. And this is Pearson, who was injured a little bit in that first game. She left late. Uh, but she's uh, shook it off. She's back into the game. And there's a swing and a miss. Two outs. Nobody on for the Red Bay Tigers. And Hannah Borden on the mound pitching. The right-hander swinging a miss. Tigers going to have to get on the stick. Uh, going to have to beat this bunch twice. And there's a ground ball. Slow roller to the shortstop. Throw down to first. And she is out at first base. Big play at first base. Close play, but she is out. Jack Ivey live with Randall Lindsay here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Appreciate you being with us today. Once again, Bell Green will be batting here in the bottom of the inning. 
And of course, we will see how the Tigers do and uh, who's going to be at each position for the Tigers here in just a minute. And it is all brought to you by UN Variety. Floral and Gifts, Silk and Live Flowers, 356-2288. Don't forget, uh, call for any occasion. A lot of, uh, of course, uh, decoration flowers are being ordered right now, even for Easter. But a lot of folks do it the first weekend in May, some of the second weekend, some Father's Day. Once again, an honor to have you here today. Brought to you by Johnny's Four Wheelers, military family owned business. And of course, they're a dealer of Argo, Bad Boy, Bighorn, Bobcat. Bobcat truck was there today, County Clipper. They got um, Massimino Motor and also Spartan. Zero turn mowers, side by sides, adult kid, four wheelers, pontoon boats, golf carts, and much more. Also, don't forget the Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Raynard Fabianchi, 356 9511. 356 9511. Also, Alpha Insurance is on a broadcast here today. Call 356 4411. Also, don't forget Pro Concerts, Mr. Terry Hayes uh, down in Chipolo. A uh, big shout out today to Happy Hollow Outdoors. Don't forget Community Spirit Bank bringing our hits to you today. And once again, Triple H Electronics. Brandon Nunley Construction Company by Pro Finishes, Ricky McGee, your RV Collision Center. Also, Thompson Gas Company, 356 2194, home of those uh, Rely Propane meters. Budget friendly while keeping the tank full. You only pay for what you use. Morgan Vandiver, the shortstop, will bat first uh, for Belgrade. Here's the pitch on the way. Foul back. And that is Hannah Butler back on the mound. She pitched the last game, did a great job. Who pitched the first game this morning, Rand? Who? Journey Swan. She pitched the whole game? Oh, she had a finger issue. And who, uh, who relieved her? Hannah? So Hannah's pitched a bunch today. Pitched a great game against uh, Tharptown and that big win just a little bit ago. We've moved to the bottom of the first inning at a swing and a foul tip. One ball, two strikes. Thank you. The Cardinal drive in. Thank you, Miss Denise. 356-2358. One good thing about uh, Ivy Broadcasting, you can drive on down to Cardinal, get you something. You don't even have to leave the screen in front of them. Watch it while you're ordering that uh, world-famous banana split or one of Randall's foot-long chili cheese dogs or the Jack Ivy hot fudge cake. Thank you, Bliss Aesthetics, Beverly Winchester Green, specializing in sugar hair removal, individualized skin care, facials, of course. Keratin Lash Lifts, 256-460-9545. Also, today's game brought to you by Casey Lott, the Ernie, owner of the largest personal injury firm in Northeast Mississippi. Attorneys licensed Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. 662-554-4000. And also a big shout-out today to H.W. Watson Logging Company. That's Kevin and Harold. Buys all your timber and timberland. Ball high. A ball and two strikes. Morgan Vandiver, the batter, the leadoff batter. No score in the game. And the pitch on the way. Randy, you better have that hand on that camera. That's why you'll be late getting to it. When that pitch is coming your way, it may be coming off that bat. A lot of different directions. Two balls, two strikes. And the pitch on the way. Swing, line shot right off the glove of the shortstop. And the Tigers give up a base runner here to start it off. I don't know whether that will be considered a hit or not, but it went off her glove, so it would probably be uh, probably be an error on the uh, number six position for the Red Bay Tigers. Brynn Scott will be the batter here. She's the center fielder. I don't think she claims uh, Chris, does she? Chris, one of the assistant coaches down at Belmont. 
daughter playing here for these Bell Green Bulldogs. There's a bunt down the first base side. It's foul. So everybody have to come back. Thank you, Swamp Johns. 356 2300. How late Swamp Johns open tonight, Randall? We might get uh, Bill to go get us at something at Swamp Johns. We're hungry. I will. I can crank it from here. I can crank it right here. We'll get it warm. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a pop-up. Catcher for Red Bay's not going to be able to get to it. The mile high. So a two-strike. Count to the batter. Appreciate the Banner Tire Store 8320 Fairview Banner Road in Golden. Refill propane bank bottles and they can even accommodate the motorhomes as well. 662 676 2177 for all your tires, folks. Make sure it's one of your great sponsors here, the Banner Tire Store. They've been with us now for a long time. Bill, those two chicken on the sticks I had for lunch. And that barbecue nachos I had right here is gone. Huh? I've done I eat them. They're already gone. I'm going to have to eat something else. Well, uh, I got that coffee free. Part, part of it free. Two strike count. Oh, and there's a ground ball. And a hit. That's going to probably score a run. It's going all the way to the fence. They're going to send the runner home. They'll score easily. The play at third, the runner safe. And the Bell Green Lady Bulldogs is smoking here in the first inning. So good job by the Bell Green Bulldogs there with a triple. So Scott with a triple, and this will ring up your pitcher, I believe, Hannah Borden. And the Hannah Butler pitcher ready to go. Ball high. And where's number 19 for these Bell Green Bulldogs. Today's game brought to you by the Great folks, Ellis Wooten at Brick Driven Realty on your broadcast. Another ball. Call him at 256-460-0598 for all your real estate needs. It is Ellis Wooten, 5-H Farms, Donovan Haley, Sophie Hudson, and Harper. Big shout out to Gary and Cody Armstrong. Does all your dozer backup work, cleanup. Excavators, dump trucks, whatever you need, they can do it and get it done quicker. Thank you, Dr. Brad Gentleman, family medical doctor at the show's primary care, 256-383-4473. And there's a strike. Of course, he's married to world-famous Sierra Hubbard from down in Red Bay, Alabama. Wanted to wish the Tigers and the Bulldogs good luck in the game here today. And a big shout-out to Ronald Thorne, your state farm agent on a broadcast swing. Pop-up, that one's going to be foul back and out of play. Call Ronald 356-4459. Don't forget Meg Deaton at Generations of Red Bay. Neighbors Family Clinic, Dr. Jim Neighbors, Dr. Stephen Neighbors, Nurse Practitioner Devin Fancher. 219 Hospital Road, 356-9537. There's a pop-up. That one's back over our heads. Appreciate Red Bay Pharmacy building Donald Weatherford, 356-4044, along with Allen and Ash Harden and Harden Heating and Cooling. Uh, Mr. Nash right behind us here tonight, 356-8913. And also Red Bay Rentals, Mr. Johnny Weatherford. He's got some units he is uh, running right now, 256-668-0039. And also Shannon Oliver, a Franklin County Sheriff on our broadcast. Two balls, two strikes. 
two outs, make it three balls and two strikes. Hannah Butler is ready to go. And the pitch, swing, and a pop-up. Fly ball out to center field. Center fielder in to make the catch. The throw home, the, the player is out at the plate. And there was not two outs. It was uh, wrong on the scoreboard, and I happened to be going by it. I don't know why I said two outs. I don't even think he's got any outs. Uh, There's two outs now because of the pop-up and the throw out at the plate. I guess I'll quit looking at the scoreboard and assuming it's right. So the out and the pop-up. And the throw out of the plate for two outs. And this is Kaylee Lawson, the batter. We might have Miss Ruth Ginn out there watching tonight. This is her granddaughter. Is she here? So Miss Ruth may be here watching in person. I'm Jack Ivey along with Randall Lindsay. I want to say how much we appreciate everybody. I'm going to go to my Facebook and see if you're watching. If you are, please send us a message and let us know how we're looking and how we sound tonight. There's a fly ball to deep left field. Left fielder going back is not going to be able to get to that one. That's off the wall. Boy, she got a hold of that one. And Kaylee stops in at second place with a stand-up double. Stand-up double. And that's Kaylee Lawson. Lily Blackburn will be the batter right here. So the pinch runner for Bell Green, I don't, Randall may have that number there. Huh? Hogan is the courtesy runner. So Lily Blackburn, the batter here. One run is in, and there's been a triple and a double in this uh, first inning. We're at the bottom of the first. Bell Green has taken a one to nothing lead. So Hannah Butler is ready. Be ready, Randall. And the pitch on the way. This young lady looks like she can knock it out of the park. And the pitch is high. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here in Bell Green County Tournament. Ball gets away. The runner will advance down to third. Once again, I'm Jack Ivey with Randall Lindsay. Hey, Judy Sparks, Teresa Maxwell Lynch out there with us. Hopefully you're enjoying the broadcast here on WRMG. Bell Green leads 1-0. Red Bay would have to beat them twice here in the championship round. And there's a swing and a miss. We always enjoy bringing these games to you. Ruth Ginn watching, watching Bell Green's number 21, her granddaughter. Hey, Debbie Hastings out there with us. Hey, Debbie. And the pitch on the way. Ball low. Good stop by Blackburn there. That runner down at third base. Here's that courtesy runner down there. Let's see what the Tigers can do here. 3-2 pitch. Pitch is over but low. So a walk batter here to number uh, 18, Blackburn. Caitlin Oliver will bat now number 33. She is the left fielder. Back. 
And a swing and a miss. There's Rosetta Dean checking in with us. Uh, Keith Seahorn, we're live tonight in Bell Green, Alabama. On this, the Ivy Broadcasting Company brought to you by Shannon Oliver, your Franklin County Sheriff. Sunshine Homes, Builders of Quality Homes since about 71. There's a pop-up. Going to be foul back and out of play. Appreciate the city of Red Bay, the mayor council, along with Pickley Wiggly, Ace Hardware. Don't forget Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore, Redmont Heating and Cooling, Patrick Brooks. Hey, Heather Nicole out there with us. Thank you, Redmont Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks, along with State Senator Larry Stutz, and Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, and Alton Barksdale. And there's a ball high. One ball, two strikes. Belgrade with the runners at second and third with a couple outs. And they've got one run here in the bottom of the first lead, one nothing, over the Red Bay Tigers. Belgrade's batter looks at a ball high. And the Hannah Butler pitch, swing, and a foul ball. Evens up the count, two balls, two strikes. Once again, if you're watching a broadcast, honored to have you here today on WRMG. And the pitch, foul ball, out of play. And a slow roller to the second baseman. Over to first in time of the out. Good job there by Kyla Blackburn. And the Red Bay Tigers are out of the inning, but give up one run. A couple of runners stranded for Belgrade. So we'll go to the second inning here on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Thanks for watching us here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Randall and all the Alabama fans are big time excited going to the Elite Eight and you will play. Hey there, pretty girl. How are you doing? Come here. Come around over here. Come right here. Come right here. You wanna say you wanna say hi to anybody? Say you wanna say hi to Alan Harden and Anita? Yeah. Hi. Hi, baby. Hey, do you want to say hi to Grandma and Papa Moses? Huh? You want to say to you? You want to go say hello to the Moses family out there? Your other grandparents? Yeah, where are they? I don't know. Say hi to them. They'll hear you. Say hello. Hello. Say hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, everybody. All right, you get good. You gonna say hi? Tell everybody what your name is. Eddie. You want to say hi to your grandparents? They might be watching. Hi, Nene. Hi, Papa. Hi, uh, you want, anybody else you want to say hi to? Okay. Say good night. Say good night, Jack. Good night, Jack. Hey, do you know Joe? Yes. Come here. Who's Joe? Joe Mama. That's what I... She, she said Joe Mama there. We're in the top of the second inning, one to nothing, and the Red Bay Tigers will be batting here. Swing ground ball right back to the pitcher, and the throw down to first, and Blackburn is out at first base. This will bring up Kyle Blackburn.
Is that mine? You giving it to me? What for? Hey, huh? Come here. You might need this. You might go. You might go spent. Here, here's a dime right there. All right, thank you. There's a ground ball to the third baseman. It's foul. A little kid over there trying to give me some money, Randall. I like it when they're trying to give me money. I couldn't take it, though. One ball, two strikes, and one out. One nothing, Bell Green. The pitch on the way. Swing. Fly ball to right center field. Right fielder coming in. Makes the catch for the second out of the inning. So Blackburn he is down on a fly ball. Journey Swan will be the batter here. Lexi Howard, I believe, is on deck for Red Bay. So Journey Swan batting with no no nobody on, two outs. And the pitch on the way. He is a strike. Who said this is wild, Randall? Jack Buck. St. Louis Carter. I didn't think you knew that. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs, and the pitch on the way. Pretty dark here. I know the lights are on, but uh, it's taking a while for my eyes and everybody else's eyes to adjust to this uh, just before sunset here. We got Red Bay and Bell Green finals of the Franklin County Tournament. You're watching our broadcast. Say hello to us. We'd love to say hello to you. One nothing. Bell Green leads. Top of the second inning. Three balls and two strikes. Let us know you're watching. And there is a foul back. Of course, beautiful back there in the down the right field line. Right, turn that camera back around there again. Look at that beautiful sunset. It's already gone down, but the beautiful sky there on this Good Friday. And the pitch. Foul ball. Coach Eric Thornton joining us down in Tishomingo County, Mississippi. Coach, we got the Red Bay Tigers. Bell Green Bulldogs playing in the finals of the Franklin County Tournament. Double elimination. Red Bay has got a loss. Bell Green has not got a loss. Red Bay actually lost to Bell Green this morning. That put Red Bay in the uh, loser's bracket. And Red Bay was fortunate enough to win. Got a foul ball over Tharptown to get in the finals. Appreciate the city of Red Bay, Sunshine Homes, along with Piggly Wiggly and Ace Hardware. Don't forget about that Piggly Wiggly Deli. Ace Hardware got a lot of great items, and there's another fly ball. That one is curving foul. Journey way out in front of that one. Got a hold of it, though. Don't forget you can watch this on YouTube. Go to your smart TV. Go open up the YouTube app and search Jack Ivy. Once you watch a game there, uh, you probably won't want to watch it on Facebook anymore. You'll, you'll like it in the high def category. Everybody says it looks awesome. We're always here, Randall, so it's hard for us to 
But if you're watching on uh, YouTube, that means uh, you just need to pick your phone up and come over to my Facebook page and let me know you're watching on YouTube. But don't get off of YouTube on your big screen there. Just pick your phone up and come to my Facebook page, Jack Ivy, and let me know. Journey gets a hold of that one. Foul ball. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here from WRMG. Swing and a fly ball to left field. Left fielder coming in. Under it, makes the catch. And that'll be the third out of the inning. We're going to go to the bottom of the inning, I guess. And right now, the Red Bay Tigers trail one to nothing to the Bell Green Lady Bulldogs. Thank you, State Center to Larry Stutz, uh, Redmont Pharmacy, Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton, Marksdale on the broadcast here today. Also, Community Spirit Bank, Fastway Car Wash, Miss Ann Vinson, the Red Bay Hospital. Also on the broadcast today is the Deaton Funeral Home, Edward Jones, agent Mike Jones. Also, Triple D's Hardware and Lumber over in Iuka, Tiffin Motorhomes by Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company by Tri State Insurance. Uh, Kim and Caitlin Wells, Mike Moore, Brenda Purser, Christy Mayo. That Red Bay location, 356-4804. And also a big shout-out to Bay Health and Wellness in Red Bay. Go Tigers from Kayla Humphreys and the staff. That number, 256-376-2036. Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning also on a broadcast here today. Welcome to the broadcast. If you're watching, please share it. Let us know if you're watching on YouTube. Pick that phone up. Get on my Facebook page and say, hey, Jack Ivy, uh, we're watching. It looks good or it looks bad, and uh, we're on uh, YouTube, but we just want to let you know that we are watching. You make me happy by letting us know you're watching the games. You see Bell Green is leading in the ball game by a score of one to nothing. Bottom of the second inning, Hannah Butler on the mound pitching for the Red Bay Tigers. And there's a ball, huh? This is number 22 batting here. McKinley Hogan. Belgrain really threatened more than he got across. The uh, Red Bay ended up getting a double play that uh, really helped their cause. The Belgrain Lady Bulldogs. They've done a good job in the county and softball, and baseball, and basketball, of course. And going to cry to uh, get your football program going here. They've got a new turf field here, I understand. Foul back. Foul ball like they got a little boy back here. Send us a message and let us know you're watching the game and tell me who you're pulling for. Samantha Bell says, I'm watching on YouTube, and it's pretty awesome. And that is awesome from you, Miss Bell. If we had a little bit better lighting, it would uh, probably make our video better. And as it gets a little darker, maybe it will. But if we had better lighting, it would be a little extra better. And the pitch on the way. Swing. Ground ball right up the middle. Shortstop got a glove on it, but just uh, – change the direction a little bit. Center fielder comes in and gets it, and guess what? A base runner down at first base. Do me a favor, Samantha Bell. Share this broadcast on your Facebook and let the folks know that they can at least watch the game tonight.
Thank you, Samantha Bell. How many announcers talks to their folks out there, Randall? We like them, don't we? And there's a ground ball. Third baseman's got it. Throw to first. It's a way low, gets away. A run's going to score from third. The runner heading down to third. They're going to wave her home. No throw to the plate. Actually, the throw went to third base for some reason, and that's what you call an easy run there by the Bell Green Lady Bulldogs. They scored two and lead by a score of three to nothing over the Red Bay Tigers. Thank you, David Thorne out there with us today. So a good line, uh, I guess you could say uh, arrows all over the place on that uh, uh, Bryant hit, but uh, she scored. That's the main thing. And uh, still nobody out. And here's the pitch. Number 21 pops it up, and Blackburn beating herself up again, running after that one. Hey, Jerry and Diane Gordon out there. Coach Sonny Glasgow checking out a broadcast. Folks, this is the world-famous Brooke Tompkins. And Brooke's uh, grandparents, or grandmother, lives in Belmont. And uh, other family members there. Ruth Ginn. Tina Scott Lawler says, watching on YouTube TV. Looks great. Go Journey and the Lady Tigers. Thanks, Jack and Randall. Hey, today's her anniversary. Today's her anniversary. How'd you know that? Oh, you're friends with her on Facebook. Happy anniversary. There's the world-famous uh, Miss Tammy Jeffries out there. The world-famous Scott Webster. Scott, I won't tell you what the folks said. Well, Randall, I'll let Randall tell you. Since you were uh, bullying him earlier today. Was he bullying? Is that what you call it? That's a great play by the Red Bay Tigers. Yeah. Emma Blackburn's been diving all day after balls, and Emma made the catch right there. Great job, Emma. Scott uh, and Randall did Red Bay and Bell Green this morning. Well, Bell Green won, and uh, I came over to relieve and take over the broadcast from Scott let him go home. And uh, Scott, they said, maybe I brought him good luck as Red Bay knocked off uh, Tharptown. One out. Keep sending us messages and let us know you're watching our broadcast. Scott, I think they were trying to tell you that you didn't bring them good luck this morning, and Randall and I did on that Tharptown game. So I don't know how good our, how long our luck is good for. Nobody on that little inside Parker uh, arrows turned into a couple of runs for Bell Green. They lead three nothing here. In the bottom of the second inning, we're live in Bell Green. Anna Butler has gone the entire way in this game. She pitched the entire game. Ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop's got it. Throw to first. It's in the dirt. And another base runner, and she's heading down to second base. So Young over to her sister Young at first base. The ball was low, and the Tigers couldn't dig it out. And that'll be an error on the Red Bay Tigers. So there'll be a runner down at second base. Bree Scott got her a big triple her last at bat. So Morgan Vandiver reaches on an error for the second time tonight. Scott got a triple her last at bat. Let's see what happens here. And the pitch on the way. Ball high. Got away from the catcher. Runner will advance over to third without a throw. One out. Debbie Mayfield saying go Brie. And the pitch is low. If you're watching on Facebook and you haven't ever tried it on uh, YouTube, unless we're at Red Bay and they've got YouTube blocked, we try to do all the ball games on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. 
Twitch as well, WRMGRadio.com. And here's the pitch, a bunt. Perfect bunt. I'm talking about perfect. But the time we touched the ball, the pitcher come in to cover it. Guess what? She was on first base. Now she heads down to second because we have nobody covering second base. We don't have nobody within uh, 40 feet of second base. So she just walked down to second. Good base running by Bree. So good job by Bree. This will bring up uh, Hannah Borden. I believe she flied out to center. So she'll bat with one out and a runner at second and third in the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul back. you got a smart TV, keep watching me on Facebook on your phone if that's what you're doing. But go to your smart TV, open up the YouTube app, YouTube, and then search for Jack Ivy, J-C-K-I-V-Y, one, two words, Jack Ivy. Not poison, that's three words. And they pitch on the way, outside. One ball, one strike, one out. Second and third, Bell Green leads 3-0 over the Red Bay Tigers. Search Jack Ivey and hit enter there, and you'll see my picture come up. Just click on that picture, and you'll see a game live. Click on it. Make sure it's full screen, and you'll be watching it high def pop up behind the second base bag and the Tigers. Nice catch out there by Kyla Blackburn for the second out. Kyla made it look easy, didn't you? Bay Diesel and Air Conditioning, Chris and Valerie Moore on the broadcast. Your authorized Freightliner RV dealer, Silver Dollar Bargains. Located in Tupelo and also Gold in the Mississippi Discount Grocery Headquarters. Well, let's see here. Kaylee Lawson got a double. Her last at bat, she wears number 2-0. She is the catcher for the ball club. Does a great job behind the plate. Keep the messages coming. Let me know you're out there watching. Don't be bashful tonight. And the pitch on the way. The, the wind has died down. Boy, just before dark, before that sun was going down, it wind was blowing pretty good. It started getting a little cooler. Kayla Lawson, ready to go. She's ready there is a pitch, swing, and a fly to the infield. Everybody's going to be safe. Two runs are going to score, looks like. She's safe at the plate. As that little pop-up was short of the uh, shortstop, just fell and kind of died there and spinning. And by the time Red Bay could pick it up and come home with it, two runs had scored. It is five to nothing, Bell Green. Thank you, Gail Gann out there watching. Michelle Wooten watching to this. The world famous Ty McDonald out there watching. This Ty watches us a lot, and Miss Ty, we really appreciate it very, very much. Red Bay's got two out. Sweeping the plate off there, making it all shiny and white. Lily Blackburn will be the batter. That little pop-up down to second, got the runner down to, or to short there, got the runner down at second. I believe we got a courtesy runner. I can't see the number down there. Person is running for... Lawson. Hogan, Randall thinks it's Hogan again. This lady right here, Blackburn looks like she could pop it. She walked her last at bat. Who? You claiming Ken to that Blackburn girl? 
That's his oldest granddaughter there. Ball low gets away from the catcher. Runner will advance over to third. Thank you, Jack Ivey, for covering these games. Uh, being unable to attend makes it nice to see. And this is two games you've got to see for the world-famous Bell Green Bulldogs today. We're at Red Bay and Tharptown. Did Red Bay and Bell Green early today. Scott and Randall did. And uh, there's a pitch high and inside. I've been covering games here in the county on television since 2001, and hopefully that will always be able to happen. And uh, there's a fly ball. Looks like that ball is going to be down in fair territory. It is. A run will score, and she'll stop at first base. So an RBI there. Hopefully it won't come to the point, Randall, that they'll tell us that we can't broadcast here and there and whatever like happened during basketball. They wouldn't let us broadcast live the Franklin County basketball tournament. We could tape it, but. So they uh, wouldn't let us do that. That was a decision made by the folks down at Phil Campbell, but uh, hopefully we won't run into that any other place and maybe even in the future at Phil Campbell. So we love coming to all these county schools. We've done it for many years, and I don't think we've been a problem anywhere we've been. Right? I, ain't, I don't think I've ever had a complaint from any of these schools, even though we do the Red Bay broadcast. I don't think I've ever had a complaint in over 20 years. If you like us covering these uh, Bell Green Bulldogs and these uh, games in Franklin County, send us a little message and give us a little encouragement. We have got a timeout. Two outs. Looks like Red Bay is going to change pitchers here. Hats off to Hannah Butler. She's done a great job. Randall, who is that on the mound? Randall's going to get us a close-up of her. Keep going in there closer, Randall. Going in there. Number three, zero. Brindley Higgins is going to be the new pitcher. So Red Bay a change pitchers with two outs. Today's game, of course, live brought to you by Greg Hamilton, our superintendent of education, also by Casey Johnston, our school board member. Funderflow commercial and residential pressure washing. Hey, Jackie Scott. Hey, Gene Thorne out there with us tonight. Bell Green leading by a score of 5 0. And we're in the bottom of the second inning, live at the Franklin County Softball Tournament in Bell Green, Alabama. Thank you, Funder Flow, Michael Funderberg, and also Red Bay Gas and Water, who reminds you to call before you dig by Bay Tree Gift Company, Beverly Winchester Green, 256 740. 9940, that's Bay Tree Gift Company. New Tuxedo Rentals, a Baby and Bridal Registry, and a lot of beautiful items for home furnishings, wall decor, decorative accents, kitchenware, dining, entertainment, along with a wide variety of home fragrances and much more. New arrivals, of course, coming in just about every day. Well, we got uh, another comment or two. Watching and cheering for Journey Swan and the Lady Tigers. Thank you, Jackie Scott. Thank you, Happy Hollow Outdoors. Got all your guns and ammo, any caliber, any configuration. We got supplies for baseball, softball, football. Huge golf section with apparel, even two golf simulators. They're open uh, six days a week, nine to six, except Wednesday. They do close at five to give you a little extra time to get to church. Bell Green with a runner down at first base. This is number 33 batting, Randall. All brought to you by BNC Dirt Work. This is Caitlin Oliver.
Hey there, pretty girl. Brindley Higgins. You got me something to eat? Hey, go tell your daddy to buy me something to eat. Tell him I'm hungry. You gonna go tell him? And there's a ground ball. Shortstop's got it, but right between her legs and into the outfield. So Bell Green keeps the inning going. On another error by the Red Bay Tigers. McKinley Hogan will be the batter here. So we've got a six to nothing ball game now. And the pitch on the way. In there for a strike. Thank you, Jackie Scott. And a ball, huh? Runner at first and second. Who's batting, Randall? Number, number 22 batting here is McKinley Hogan. I'll see if he's paying attention. Strikeout, throw down to first in time for the out. Tigers finally get out of the inning. So we are going to the third inning. And the Red Bay Tigers now trail six to nothing. We'll go to the top of the third. So if you see something pop up about uh, streaming, click on here for the streaming and all that stuff. That is somebody probably not even in this country. They're trying to get your credit card number, and they do it to us all the time. You'll see it pop up. Of course, I've banned them from the screen, but here or from the stream. But listen to this. They'll have a different name in five minutes and pop up again. So just don't ever click on anything like that, okay? I'm Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Samantha Bell, it is spam, no doubt about it. Boy, sometimes, I believe it was during the Belmont State Tournament game and Tish County State Tournament game, there was one popping up, Lord, just about every second I did I had to quit even messing with it because I was afraid I'd mess my broadcast up. So I just reminded everybody, don't uh, don't click on it or you'll be in trouble. But thank you all for welcoming us to Bell Green, Alabama today. We enjoy doing the games. And uh, there is, who is that, McKenna Abels uh, on our broadcast here today. Well, they got the music loud here, don't you? And that loud music sometimes with Facebook will get you blocked, if you know what I mean. Red Bay's going to have uh, number 12 leading it off. And that is Miss Howard Batty. Appreciate BNC Dirt Work, David Corm and Chris Blackman. David can be reached, 256-668-5660. Chris Blackburn at 256-460-7805. Now you need to have some gravel haul, dirt, and rock haul. Just call them. They do it all. They do uh, build pads for like a house or a building. They gravel parking lots. They do driveways, culverts. They also do underground uh, utilities like water and power. Uh, they can even go under a road for you. They got the equipment to do it all. B and C Dirt Work, David Corum, and Chris Blackburn. Also, big shout out today to Dossett Big Ford, about a block from the hospital in Tupelo. They've been they sponsor all my Red Bay games, Belmont and Tish County, and we really appreciate them very, very much. Dossett Big Four, 842-4162. That's 662 over in Mississippi. And the pitch is a strike. That one looked a little low.
Jeremy Edgman out there with us. And there is a pop out into right field. Right fielder's under it. Right fielder makes the catch. Let's go, Lily. Ty McDonald out there. Tina Lawler going Red Bay. Jeremy Edgman go Lady Tigers. Colton Harrison with us out there. So the Tigers. Will bat and the ball out in the right field. That is Jackson. Jackson got her a base hit. Randall, you know she's only an eighth grader, don't you? Amy Jackson, by the way, is her aunt. Amy Jackson. Don't forget her hits brought to you by Community Spirit Bank, member FDIC since 1908. Check out Community Spirit Bank on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And also don't forget student checking and savings accounts are available. Open one for a dollar, just a dollar. I highly recommend you do that for your youngsters. And So the Red Bay Tigers, ground ball to the shortstop, throws to first. It is high, and the Red Bay Tigers will ease over to third base, be safe down at first base. They're going to give her second base. That's Gracie Edgman. The world-famous Jeremy Edgman claims her. Thank you, April Lauer at Marmac Realty on a broadcast. 256-668-9148. Call her about all your housing needs, buying or selling. I told you that if you're even halfway thinking about selling your house, now's the time to do it. She's got people chomping to the bits wanting to buy a house and uh, not enough to sell for them to look at. So if you want to sell one, now's a good time to put it on the market. Only if you're wanting to sell it. Red Bay Tigers. And this is ground ball. And everybody, I believe, is going to be safe. Safe down at first base on number 3-0. Did they call a foul or what? Brindley Higgins, I thought, had got her an infield hit. But that is not the case. Mandy Hyde and Unley out there with us today. Remember, the only place that I do is, as far as seeing uh, your messages is under Jack Ivy. We're sending this out on the uh, school system side as well, Red Bay School. And here's the pitch. It is a ball on the changeup. Runner stealing, and she is safe in there. Good job, Gracie. Give us a close-up of Gracie down there, Randall. Give her some air time. You, zoom on by. She'll move here in a minute. we got to get Gracie on there. Catch her. There you go. There, Gracie. Good job. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Good job, Randall. And the pitch. Ball high. Don't forget, we're proud of the Community Spirit Bank Tiger Branch at Red Bay and Bell Green. And there's a ground ball. Second baseman bobbles it. Everybody is going to be safe. And Gracie Edgman scores the first Red Bay Tiger run against this Bell Green Bulldogs. Tell you what, Hannah Borden's done a wonderful job on the mound pitching for the ball club. Now the Red Bay Tigers got a runner at first. Who's that Curtis here on a Randall? <laughs> Haven Stacy. She looked excited running across there. Hey, thank you, Franklin Electric. CBNS Bank, Sunshine Mills, Big Star, Red Bay Generations, Meg Deaton, thank you, Cash and Thermal Plastics. Happy Jack's Tire and Lube, third-generation family-owned and operated automotive service business. 
Located in Red Bay, where Bumper to Bumper used to be, partnering with Valvoline to give you five quarts of oil and a filter. That synthetic Valvoline oil and filter special right now for $34.99. That deal ends at the end of the month. So you got to get there by tomorrow before lunch to take advantage of that special. Thank you, Dennis, our, our Dunny Craig, the owner, and, of course, Glenn, the manager there. Let's see what we got right here with two outs. And the throw down to first. Runner safely back in. Red Bay Tigers are ready. And the pitch swing. Hannah Butler fouls that one back and out of play. So Happy Jacks, 2-5-6-2-8-4-0-4-1-4. Two, two, four, zero, four, four. Big shout out once again to Community Spirit Bank, Generations of Red Bay. Don't forget Happy Hollow Outdoors. Community Spirit Bank, of course, bringing the hits for you today. Thank you, Meg Deaton. And a swing and a miss. Hannah Butler is down on strikes, and that'll be the third out of the inning. Thank you, you and Variety, live in Silk Flowers, full-service floors. Johnny's four-wheelers. That's Johnny and Amanda Adams. Also, the Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Fabianchi. And also, Alpha Insurance is on the broadcast. We're going to move to the bottom of the third. It is 6-1. to 6-1, to one, your score. This is Red Bay Tiger. Uh, fast pitch softball on the IV Broadcasting Company. Stay with us, folks. Send us a message and let us know you're still out there and who you're pulling for tonight. Are you pulling for the Tigers? Or are you pulling for those uh, Bulldogs? Bulldogs got themselves in a pretty good position to be Franklin County champs in softball. But they would have to beat them twice. chance to watch the Red Bay Tharp Town win that is available on YouTube it's available on Facebook if you want to go back and watch it if you want to go back and your Bell Green fan want to go back and watch that Red Bay Bell Green game where Bell Green won today about lunchtime that game's available on YouTube and also Facebook as well we got Tish County and Ripley last night we got uh, Belmont and Mantachi softball we got Red Bay and Vina softball from last night Tish County and Ripley Varsity and JV Green batting here. The ramp of a clipper sweat top on. What number is this? Hmm. This is Shailen Bar. DP. Please. Bell Green Bulldog batting here in the bottom of the third. We do have a time limit, by the way. And the pitch. Strike ball. Nice pitch here. Nobody out. Just in case you join us, bottom of the third. It's uh, all over. They lead 6-1, and there is a base on ball to Bryant. This will bring up Brooke Tompkins.
Throw down to first. And she is hit by the pitch. That is number 10, Randall. That will, they must be substituting here. <clears throat> that was number 10, Betty. Seals. Morgan Vandiver back to the top of the batting order. So they subbed uh, Seals in, I guess, for Tompkins. Yeah, I guess they're telling the ump now. Now we didn't know anything about it. <coughs> A little bit cooler than it was earlier today. Isn't it? Here we go. Good pitch air by the Red Bay Tigers. Pitching now for Red Bay is Brindley Higgins. She's on in relief from Hannah Butler. And there's a slow roller, third baseman. Steps on third for the fourth out. Great job by Gracie Edgman. Gracie had to make that play defensively first before she could get over there. So the runner at first is on on a fielder's choice. This is uh, Scott batting here, I believe. Brian Scott. There's Catherine Hastings Davidson out there, Janice Collum out there checking out a broadcast. And the pitch gets away from the catcher. Runner will end up down at second base. Now there'll be runners at second and third. Appreciate Alpha Insurance on a broadcast. Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Fabianchi, 356-9511. Pro Concert Terry Hayes does all your church sound systems, video, and more. He's down at Tupelo. And there's a bunt right out in front of the plate. And everybody's going to be safe. She's already beat out one. She'll beat out another one without a throw. Belmont, uh, oh, I know it. You need to get make that happen. That's all your speed, isn't it? So the bases are loaded for Belgrain talking to Marie's dad. So this will bring up uh, another batter here. And with the bases loaded, they're saying everybody is safe. I don't know what the question was. Anna Borden will, should be the batter here. So the base is loaded with nobody out, and there's a ball. Actually, there's one out. Now they take it off the board. So, I guess, is there? I guess there is one out. So there's one out. Bases are loaded for this uh, young lady right here, Hannah Bourne. She's flied out to center and popped up to the second baseman. Throw down to third. As that pitch is a strike. She's safe down there. 
This is Red Bay Tiger and Bell Green Softball live on Jack Ivey Broadcasting with Randall Lindsay today. Brought to you by Brandon Nunley Construction, Triple H Electronics. Pro finishes Ricky McGee down in Belmont, your RV Collision Center. Ball low in the dirt. Good job by Blackburn. Don't forget Thompson Gas Company's got that free meter install that's called the Rely. It uh, fixes it where you only pay for what you use. You don't own that gas in there anymore, which is good. You don't have all your money tied up. They keep it full for you. No more tank rent, no more fees, no more large propane bills. You just pay for what you use that month. And there is a base hit to left field. One run is in. Two runs are in. Here comes the ball in. And everybody will advance up to second and third. Two runs crosses the plate for the Belgrain Lady Bulldogs. Great hit right there. And that is, of course, by Hannah Borden. Kayla Lawson, the catcher here. Emma Blackburn trying to cheer on the pitcher for the Red Bay Tigers. Ball high. Bell Green getting themselves in position to claim another softball Franklin County championship. Do what now? Randall's thinking they won it last year. I bet you Miss McDonald might know or somebody else out there watching. Who won the Franklin County Softball Championship last year? Somebody will let us know here in a minute. I don't remember what happened yesterday, much less last year. And the pitch on the way. Strike call. Belgrade folks didn't like that one. Of course, the people didn't like it. it was about 40 feet over to my right, and I promise you they cannot see if it's a strike from there. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Good pitch there by the Red Bay Tigers. Folks, unless you're behind the plate, you can't tell exactly where it's at. You may tell about how high it is, but you can't tell if it's six inches off the plate or inside or whatever. May look like it, but you don't know 100% unless you're back there. But we got a bunch of armchair umps that are always at the game. Doesn't matter what team it is. It's We're live, of course, in Bell Green, Alabama. Thanks for watching on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Bell Green's got runners at second and third. We're going to have another courtesy runner. Number Number 24. Keena Vandiver is that courtesy runner there. Come in, uh, it is McKinley Vandiver. The world-famous Scott Webster watching us like a hawk out there. Randall, it blowed away from me. I'm sorry. And that ball is low. Thank you. Appreciate it. We had to find somebody young enough to pick it up, right? And the one pitch is high. Two balls, no strikes, and two outs. Runners at second and third for this uh, batter right here. And another strike. Thank you, Cardinal Drive in on the Golden Road. Mr. Lee out there. I could eat one of those hot fudge cakes, even though it's cold. Eight to one the score. Two more runs in scoring position right now with two outs and a 3-2 count. Three balls, one strike. Lily Blackburn, the batter. 3-1 instead of 3-2. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul ball. 
Scott, I've been trying to keep uh, Randall to keep his hand on that zoom up there, but he keeps them in his pockets. That's the reason he's late. Scott said, be ready, Randall. Scott's calling the shots even though he ain't here. And the pitch swing and a miss. That'll be 3-2. Three balls, two strikes, and two outs. Eight to one, bottom of the third inning. It's Bell Green winning over the Tigers. Boy, a hit right here. It's already bad enough, but a hit here would make it much worse. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. So... The Red Bay Tigers will bat in the top of the fourth inning. Honored to have you on the broadcast here today on WRMG. I don't know how much time is left. But Bell Green right now in great position to win them another Franklin County championship. Felicia Warner airs out there with us. Judy Aldridge. Live coverage from WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. at the YMCA and we're ready for Red Bay Tigers here in the I believe they're supposed to be at the top of the fourth inning. Appreciate all these wonderful sponsors making the game possible out there tonight. Including Bliss Aesthetics, Beverly Winchester Green, what about Casey Lott, your attorney? H.W. Watson Logging Company got generations of Red Bay Happy Hollow Outdoors. Community Spirit Bank bringing the hits for us. Got a new pitcher on the mound. I don't believe that's Hannah Borden on the mound pitching for Belgrade. Now she's not a uh, new pitcher. She's been out there the whole night. I don't know why I said that. Hannah's done a wonderful job. She's got an eight to one lead over the Red Bay Tigers. Swing and a foul back. Don't forget Community Spirit Bank, member FDIC since 1908. And Jasmine Pearson, the center fielder, batting for the Red Bay Tigers. Don't forget Community Spirit Bank is proud to sponsor financial literacy in the classroom at about 15 area schools with a Money Smart program. You can check out Community Spirit Bank on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Here we go, Randall. And there's a shot to left field down to the corner. 
She's going to turn that into a double. There will be a play, and she is safe at first base. So Jasmine Pearson with a great hit. So Emma Blackburn will be your batter, the Red Bay Tiger catcher. And the pitch in there for a strike. Appreciate the banner tire store, Mr. Jason Parker down on the Fairview Banner Road. Ellis Wooten at Brick Driven Realty, buying and selling your homes right now. Gary and Cody Armstrong. North Alabama real estate specialist. Boy, that one is going to be in the middle of the stands, but fell not on anybody, thank goodness. Ellis Wooten can be reached at 256 460 And don't forget about a brand new business town, Happy Jacks. Tire and Lube, third generation family owned and operated automotive service business located where Bumper to Bumper used to be. 823 Kennedy Street. You can call them at 256-284-0414. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Dennis, or Dunny, or Craig. I don't know why I called him Dennis. Dunny Craig is your owner. He's there uh, sometimes pretty often on Tuesdays to meet the local customers. He is the owner. Appreciate Chuck Cashin, Ch Cashin Thermal Plastics, Franklin Electric, CBNS Bank, Sunshine Mills, Big Star, and there's a... Nice hit. That one's going to the wall. A run will score, and Blackburn is standing up down at second base. Boy, she got a hold of that one, Randall Lindsay. I believe she might be excited. So the Tigers on the board again to make it an 8-2 ball game. We're in the top of the fourth inning. I don't know how we're looking on time. Courtesy runner down at second base. Is that number four? That is neighbors running down there. So we've got a timeout by Bell Green. When, when was that? Randall said he thought he heard him say 11 minutes. I didn't hear that, but, uh, huh? Six minutes, okay. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Here's the pitch on the way. I know it, but you're late. And the pitch on the way. And a strike call. Blackburn to the batter. Got a chance to drive in another run right here. This may be the Tigers' last chance. And the pitch on the way. Ball outside. Pitcher's done an outstanding job for the Bell Green Bulldogs in this game. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss. And Blackburn is down on strikes. That'll be the first out of the inning. Good job. Here we go. Journey Swan. Journey's been turning on some balls. And 
And there's a ground ball to the shortstop. Tags the runner, throws to first. Double play for the Belgrade Bulldog. And what a way to end this half of the inning. And an 8 2 score over the Red Bay Tigers. And that is the game. So your Franklin County softball champions, Randolph, you'll put the camera on the young ladies out there. They deserve, uh, they're all going to shake hands first. But uh, once again, congratulations to the uh, Franklin County champs. And that is the Bell Green Lady Bulldogs. Lower your camera around, tilt it down, and get down that light. And once again, the final score, you see it 8-2. to two, The Red Bay Tigers losing to Field Cow, not Field Campbell, but Bell Green here in the championship in Bell Green, Alabama. Once again, I want to congratulate them. I don't know if they'll present a trophy or not. They should, but uh, Randall said they did give it to the JV, so we'll see what happens here in just a minute. They deserve a little coverage here. If they win that, uh, get that trophy here in a minute, we'll see if they make that presentation. I'm Jack Ivey, live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Teams having prayer out there. And once again, the champion of the Franklin County Softball Tournament is your Bell Green Bulldog. Randall, they fix and present it to them out there. Randall, over here. Look at Phil Campbell. And I, our Bell Green, I don't know why I say that. we got to get Randall to find out where they're at. So I apologize calling them uh, Phil Campbell. I know it's Bell Green. Maybe they're going to give a runner up to Red Bay. Is that what they're going to do or what? We'll find out here in just a minute. Here we go. Let's listen in. Sound system not not very loud. Let's listen. Problems with the sound. <laughs> Having problems with the sound system. I don't believe they're going to get that issue Again, thank fixed. Thank you for coming out tonight, supporting these girls in the 2024 Franklin County Tournament. Runners up, Red Bay Tigers. And the Red Bay Tigers getting the runner-up trophy. So congratulations to Red Bay. And your championship trophy, Randall, is going to be presented. Get over. Bell Green Bulldogs. And the Bell Green Bulldogs are your Franklin County champions. And we want to congratulate them tonight, coaches, players, fans. Uh, you deserved it. Uh, a lot of big wins uh, to win this trophy. And the final score in this one here was 8-2 over Red Bay. So they knocked off Red Bay twice today. And once again, they knocked off, I guess, Tharptown yesterday. So we'll see them uh, get their picture made. And once again, your final score, 8-2, eight 8-2. To two, eight to two. Uh, once again, uh, Belgreen has won the county championship. That is going to wrap up our broadcast here tonight. We're going to get out of here. We'll... Beast covering you some games uh, down the road as well. Keep it right here to WRMG, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And send us a message. To let us know if you enjoy the broadcast here on WRMG. Once again, congratulations, Belgreen, your Franklin County softball champions. Red Bay, the runner-up.